The Americans are struggling to keep up with their credit card payments and personal bankruptcies are on the rise. In our Money Watch, it's starting to worry economists. People aren't financing purchases at 20% interest because everything's wonderful. That's a clear sign of, of strain. Bank rates Greg McBride is among those closely watching the current rise in household debt. Credit card debt increased by $143 billion during the final quarter of 2023, compared to the year before. Inflation has raised uh, household expenses 20, 25 percent, sometimes more just over the last three or four years. Well, income may not have kept up with that. And so you have more households that have either run down their savings or are now running up debt in an effort to bridge that gap. The amount of new debt isn't the only concern. Delinquencies and personal bankruptcies are also up in Minnesota. State court documents show 731 bankruptcies were filed in March of 2024. The largest number since March 2020, the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Bankruptcy attorney Tim Tyson says many delinquencies and the bankruptcies that often follow were delayed by the stimulus and other protections from the CARES Act. A lot of people rode that out as well as the moratoria on foreclosures and evictions and student loan payments where that's all starting to come back. Tyson says many people wait too long to file bankruptcy, which hinders a fresh start. People think of bankruptcy as a last resort. They struggle. They look at, sometimes they look at out-of-state for-profit debt relief agencies, which usually turns out to be a bit of a train wreck. McBride recommends moving high interest credit debt to a card with 0% APR or as low as you can find. Be sure to shop around, look for low rate balance transfer offers so you can give yourself a runway to get it paid off once and for all. And one other note about that, make sure to check the fees for transferring a balance from one credit card to another. There are nonprofit debt relief services that can help. You may also be able to get short-term relief by reaching out to your credit card company. They often provide hardship programs, and usually you can get that for at least a couple of months. Okay, so like, how much debt are we talking about on average per person? So it's slowly going up, and what we're seeing right now is that the average credit balance per user in Minnesota is $6,244. In Wisconsin, it's lower, a little more than 5,800 there. The District of Columbia is the highest though in the country with over 8,500 on average. One of the highest housing costs in the yes. country as well. Yeah. I think of that number, then I also think of student loans, but that's a whole nother yep. Yep. mess to include And that here. is a factor too here. Right, and what about the delinquency rates we were talking about? So we are lower than the rest of the country. 6.65% of Minnesotans are behind on their credit card payments right now. In Wisconsin, that delinquency rate is 6.43%. Still though, even though we're lower than a lot of the other states, ours are the highest rates we've seen since 2012. Nevada, Florida, and Arkansas have the worst rates, and those are between 11 and 13 percent. Wow. Now, keep in mind that these delinquency rates are with unemployment below 4 percent for the last few years. So the big fear is if those numbers go up, then we're going to see a much larger spike, not only on credit cards, but that's when it could start to affect auto loan delinquency as well. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, you start to get your car repossessed, all these other different things. What's interesting here is you see some of these outcomes repeated, but the specific ingredients that lead to them are always different and always changing. Yeah, and you think to the period between 2004 or 2008, I should say, and 2010, that was obviously driven by the housing, housing crisis yeah, yeah. more so. And housing is not as much of a factor now because more people have equity in their homes. So if they get in a bad situation, some do take out that oh home equity line yeah. of credit. Oh. Interesting right. stuff. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Darren. Informal.